those are the ancient Hebrew tongue. And what we're doing today is giving all honor and praise to the person that the world knows as God, whose Hebrew name is Yahweh, and we do so in the name of his only begotten son, who the world calls Jesus Christ. All right? So what are we here to do? We're here to declare the biblical record according to anthropology, archaeology, and just plain common sense. We're here to tell the truth of these scriptures and to dispel all the lies that were told in this Western civilization. That's right. You have to keep in mind that the Bible is a book to a specific people, and it's been given as though it's a book for everyone. Now, everyone is included in terms of the said prophecies, but everyone is not the chosen people of the Most High. Right. And we're going to prove that today without a doubt. We're not here for any violence. We come here in civility, uh, we, but we will defend ourselves tooth and nail. So we just, we come here with civility and to bring out the truth of the scriptures. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You give me Deuteronomy and we're going to start at verse 32. And we're going to break it down and say a child can understand it. All right? We have gotten away in America from the simplicity of the gospel. We know very many people are familiar with the Bible in terms of their awareness that it exists. But very few people have actually taken time to dive into the scriptures and find out what it's really saying. You know why? Because it's a mystery. The Bible is a mystery, and it's only a document and a covenant that was to a specific people. And now we're living in the last days where that testament, that document is being revealed. Read what you got. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it up. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy Allahim. Who is this people that are holy unto the Most High? Read it as it is written. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Now who are these people that the Heavenly Father, we just read it in the text, who are his chosen people? And the Bible has an identifying characteristic. A lot of people will make the claim that all of us are his chosen people. Right. But that's not true. He has a specific chosen people according to the Bible. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Well, the text is making it explicitly clear that these chosen people are people that are above other people. So that's separation in itself. There's a distinction. Read on. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. Here's another identifying characteristic. If you assume that you're part of this number, and you say that everybody is the same, and we can all be saved, that's contrary to this testament. Right. It said that he didn't choose us because we were many. Read. Really? For ye were the fewest of all people. Now there's another identifying characteristic. Who, who is the minority? Because that's what this is explaining. The Bible is bearing record of the minority of these people. These are the chosen people. So the chosen people of the Heavenly Father would be a minority. Who's the minority in America? Who's the mi minority in Europe? Who's the minority wherever we exist? You just do the math. Read. But because the Lord loved you. Because he what? Because the Lord loved you. So he has a special love for these people. So when the pastor is telling you on tomorrow that he loves everybody the same, he can't be reading from this book. That's not what this book is describing. Read on. And because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers. Unto who? Unto your fathers. Even his and other identified characteristics. These people and their fathers are the only ones that can receive this relationship. These are the special people, the chosen people, the ones that's fewest in number. Hey, let me break it down for you. The last hired and first fired in the earth. Right, those with knees on their neck. Right. Those that have been persecuted. Those that have not been indemnified. Those that have, were treated as property. Shadow slavery. These are the people that this biblical narrative is speaking about. Read on. Hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand? and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen? What is America for the so-called Negro? What is America for the so-called Latino? For the so-called Native American? It's a house of bondmen. Right. Even this very building here, if you notice its name, 
the white house but negroes built it you would think that they would at least put our name in it the people that built the house you know who builds a house and it causes someone else's name only a colonizer would do that and this has been a house of bondage for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, and to all of those who are of the bloodline descent of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and who the world calls Jesus, that are scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth. Come! Read. From the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. From who? From the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So here's another identifying characteristic. These people would have been released from the hand of Pharaoh in bondage. These are the special people that he's talking about. Read on. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So it's a specific generation that this covenant is coming to. So let's fast forward to today. All right, let's fast forward. Give me the classic, Matthew 15 and 24. Read what you got. Come, it's the book of Deuteronomy 32 and 1. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. These are the same people that we're getting ready to identify in what some would consider the New Testament. But that word new is renewed. So this is a renewed covenant to a people, a renewed contract to a people that have become estranged to it because of disobedience. Read. Verse 2. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. This doctrine shall drop as the rain. Let's see who this rain is coming to. Come on. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Read on. Because I will publish the name of Yahweh, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways are judgment. So in this book, he is, the Heavenly Father is explicitly giving you characteristics that identify with the chosen people, and it's he himself that has created everything that you presently look upon today, even the people. Read on. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. So you have to ask, if we're serving a just and right God, is it okay for what has happened to the people that he's chosen if they are existing in an unindemnified position? How can America walk around with such pride and not even indemnify the people that helped build America? Not help, but established America. You have to, these are the, the only way that that would happen because we see other nations don't fall in line with that same type of treatment. The Japanese have received reparations. The so-called Chinese even have a hate crime bill in America. How, how does the so-called Negro don't have a hate crime bill? Even one who would de deem themselves as Jewish, they actually have become immune to even anything that would suggest that they've done anything wrong. It, it's amazing to me that so many people want to include our plight, the plight of the Negro, with every other nationality. But we don't have the restoration that Western civilization gives to every other nationality except these people. Right. That in itself determines that the so-called Negro is the real Jew that the Bible speaks of. Right. Right. You know what? We know. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. Yeah. But he answered and said, These are the words of the Lord, these are the words of the Messiah, who you ignorantly call Jesus, whose name is Jehoshaphat in Hebrew. Read. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Come on. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Now this is, should be the attitude of every other nation, understanding that he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. How is he sent to everybody? How is the Messiah, in his words, he said, I only come from the lost sheep of, from the, of the house of Israel, meaning the lost sheep from the house of Israel. Huh. Is everybody from the house of Israel? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> then, then these are the only people that he's coming back for, uh -huh. right? Then who delivered Europe? Didn't you have a king? 
Don't you have, you have your Trump, don't you? You possibly have your Kamala Harris, which still is not identified with the plight of the Negro. Matter of fact, hold that, give me Hosea 8 and 4, read what you got. Deuteronomy 32 and 8, so like a 32 and 5, they have corrupted themselves. Who has corrupted themselves? We have corrupted ourselves when we identify with a nation that has never showed us any love, sympathy, or empathy. Do you know the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native America in America has only been tolerated? How are you going to steal the North American Indians' land and then put them on reservations? Does that sound like your friends? What's the benefit of Thanksgiving when it's only one people that are thankful? The colonizers are the only ones that are truly thankful. They're living high off the hill. They have a house. The so-called they have a flag. The so-called Negro doesn't have a flag. We don't have a flag that indemnifies them. We don't have a military. The so-called Negro fights for his enemy. They point us as dogs and tell you go over there. You go over to Saudi Arabia, and there are many people in these so-called wars that look like us in the way of melanin, and some of them are us through bloodline. Oh. But we impotently believe that we're all going to get along. Who does that benefit? Who does that benefit? The oppressor. Oh, oh it's going to be all right. Don't worry about it. Maybe next year your deliverance will come. Yeah. That sounds like voting, doesn't it? Right. They don't want your, your vote doesn't matter. The word vote comes from a word called vulgate, which is a vow. And it's demonic in nature. To vote is to give your vow. Because you don't get to determine the lesser of two evils as though one is not going to be just as evil as the other. Case in point, if I'm, in not, if I'm not in agreement with LGBTQ, it doesn't matter what side I vote for, when you sign your name, you are aligned with LGBTQ in America. Everybody wants to say they love Jesus, they love Christ, but why the hell are you voting? We should never vote for something that we don't believe in. You're either in or you're out. You're either hot or you're cold. Read what you got. They have corrupted themselves. We have corrupted ourselves as a people. We bought into the, this treaty that the so-called European has made as though he's going to keep any of his laws, any of his serpentous tongue decrees. Ask the North American Indians. Did they get what they were supposed to get? Last time I checked, they still suffer from that break of the smallpox. Right. The so-called Negro is still waiting for 40 acres. <laughs> it's laughable, man. We're still waiting for 40 acres in a mill. Right. And we've been, come this way, yes, you. We've been marching. The only people that march successfully is when you march for war. Right. Uh. America has the so-called Negro that you're going to march your way out of this condition. No, you're not going to march your way out of this condition. Mind numbing pain is coming to America. And the Heavenly Father is about to destroy this place That's off the planet right. Earth, man. Right. Oh. It says their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. We have become perverse. Hold on. Every time it never fails. When the word comes out, the sirens come out. Every time. And they turn it up right when they get by. If you notice how they it wasn't doing that none of the time. Read right here. Verse 6. Do ye thus requite the Lord? Come on. Oh foolish people. Oh what? Oh foolish people. We requite the Lord. We have become a foolish people. Come on. And unwise. And unwise. You know why? Because we brought into to this first America and this system. Even the so-called Jewish man identifies himself with a people that he's really not a descendant of. Right. That's why he calls himself an Israeli or Jewish. Right. So, something pertaining to or something like. But that doesn't mean that he's a real descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Because he doesn't fit the curses. Right. Matter of fact, hold what you got. Give me Revelations 2 9. You give me Revelations 3 9. Right. So we don't see what the biblical record. Right. Because most Jewish people are not Torah observant. If, um, if Israel was truly an uh, upstanding and a real Israelite community, notice a Jewish person will never identify himself with an Israelite. Right. But a Jewish person 
if they were really upstanding Israelites, a Talo Yahudi, right, all right, a Talo Yahudi, you're not a real Jew, all right, because the real Jew has an identifying characteristic, and the biblical narrative tells you who the real Jews are. Right. Read. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Bring it out. I know thy works and tribulation. So the Messiah is talking to who the world wiggly ignorant calls Jew. We're coming from the biblical narrative. Right. He's coming from his thoughts. Read. And poverty. But thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and, and are not. A Tyler Yahudi. Read. But are of the synagogue of oh, Satan. Why did the Messiah, why is that written in there? It's right. for our record. So if the Messiah only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he's showing you that these people that are calling them Jew, themselves Jews are not the real Jews. Right. Read. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And now, even if you speak against some of these people from the synagogue of Satan, they want to deem you anti-Semite. Right. Matter of fact, there's no word in the Bible that says anti-Semite. Right. That's, that's made up just like 1948. Right. That's made up just like the Belfort Declaration. Right. All that stuff, he knows it. That's just made up. It's anti-Semite. It should be a Shemitic, not a Semitic people. Right. It's Shem. So read what you got here. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9. Bring it up. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. What is the Heavenly Father going to do with these people that are calling themselves Jews and are not? Read. Which say they are Jews. They say they are Jews. Read. And are not. And are what? And are not. And are what? And, and are not. Read on. When did they start saying they were Jews? Right. Somebody, any, any historian, when did... When did the so-called European identify themselves as a Jew and they established Israel as a state as early as 1946 in the land 1948? But they've been doing that way since the Balfour Declaration. They're trying to get in the land. And this is the argument between the Palestinian and the Jews' land now because it's neither one of them. Right. It doesn't belong to neither one of them. Right. All right? It belongs to the real Jew, the right. direct bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Read. Right. But do lie. But do what? But, but do lie. They say if a Jewish man's mouth is moving, mm. there's some lies coming out. Right. Come on, read. Salaki. We're going to get from the top. Come It says, behold. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. And that's why you're even drawn here. Because you know he identifies himself as a Jewish man. You know the only thing you should really be doing is saying I'm sorry, getting down on your feet, and kissing these brothers' boots. That's the only thing you need to be doing. Because your people had a hand in the transatlantic slave trade. All right? Your people had a hand wherever the so-called Negro resides and every movement that we partake and identify with us, I'm going to let you talk, identify with us, guess what? They're somewhere close by. When it was Martin Luther King, guess who was going right beside him? The so-called Jewish man. You know why? Because you were making sure that they wouldn't identify with who the real Jew is. Right. The best way a deceiver deceives is to act like he's your friend. Right? right? But guess what? We're Negroes that can read. Right. We done found out the lies. Right. We done read the time move. Right. We done read what you say about who the real Jews are even in yourself. That's why you don't identify yourself as an Israelite. Uh, do you identify as an Israelite? I'm a, first of all, I'm, I'm from Israel. I'm a Jewish from Israel. What makes you from Israel? I, if I was born in the air on a plane, does that make me born from, I'm from a plane? No, it doesn't make me. I'm a, it makes me born on a plane, but I'm not from a plane. Now my, your origin of ethnicity, where does it come from? So you know it. Up oh, there you go. Here, now the truth is coming out. At least, hey, put your hands together. At least you tell, put your hands in. What's your name, sir? We got to sit at this door. Put your name. It means miracle. You know how many uh, Europeans have Israelite names? You know how many people, uh, how many Europeans have taken? Of course. You know why? Because when you steal a people, you take their culture, right. their heritage, right. their identity. That's how you what cause a people not to be in exist. Go ahead. Let's see what a Jew is. Let's, let's bring what that out. What is the source of the name? We'll, we'll see what the source of Jewish. What is it? Do you know? There, there is no. 
again. Well, you know a child named Yahudi then, right? Yeah, you know that. That's the tongue, right? Right? Ab Naveen, Ab Naveen Yeah, of course. Ab Naveen, Naveen Ibrik? Or maybe not, uh, Kokak up to so so, you don't know her. Matabay Ibrik? Ken. Ken, Ken. But, but that doesn't, again, is that the Lashawan Kodash, is that the ancient tongue? No. He said, hey, get, his, get him on record. Is that the ancient tongue? No. Oh, no. Put your hands together. Oh, praise Put your hands together. All praise so let's get what is a Jew. Wait. God, it says the word Jew comes from the Hebrew Judah, which originally referred to a member of the 12 tribes of Judah. Right. Now, first of all, I want to, let's clarify. Are you saying that you're a direct descendant from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob from the tribe of Judah? That's correct. How do you know that? Oh, put your hands together. Hold on. Let's put your hands together. Right. What's your name again? What's your... Finish, my I am... What's your name again? My name is Nisi. You can call okay, me. Okay, Nisi. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, Nisi. So, in order for me to be a Jewish person, my uh, my mother has to be Jewish. Wow. And wow. All, uh, all my uh, grandmother okay. and so on and so on has to be Jewish. Okay. I cannot choose to be a Jew. I got you. I, I agree. I agree with yes, that. I agree with the statement. That, let me clarify. No, you got to finish for a second. You don't have the mic. We're here. You came to us, and you have to listen. So let's have a civil. You don't see nothing that's yours. You see what's ours. But anyway, let's let's talk about what you said. You said a lot of statements, so I want to clarify. I do agree with the aspect that you can't choose to be a a Jew, and it does identify with a bloodline, and it's according to a tribe. But the tribe. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see what the Torah says about how one is an Israelite. Or Jew. We're gonna read. I, I'm speaking English because my people speak English. What are you talking? About? Listen, we understand the word in Hebrew. We understand the Masoretic text. We understand a lot of things, but we're reading. You're talking to me in English. You're playing semantics. Wait. This is the Torah, Numbers one and eighteen. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Now he said you establish who being a Jew according to the seed of your mother according to your mother's lineage. Let's see what the Bible said. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. By who? By the house of their fathers. That's why we say that the Jewish man is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Because the Bible, the Bible, now the, now the Talmud will say mother. The Bible, but the, but the Torah said, let's read what he just said. His father is Abba, uh, in English, the same in Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, uh, is Abba in in Hebrew the same as Father in English? Let's read again in English. <laughs> Numbers one and eighteen, the Torah, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So that's the first lie you told. This is the Torah, okay? This is the King James Version. This is our Torah. Your Torah excludes you. You don't have a Torah. Right. You just read that you are the synagogue of Satan. If Satan got a Torah, then you need to bring it out. Where's your Torah? Go ahead. Read what you got. This is, this is, hey, listen up. Jeremiah 17, 4. Because he's a guy. Listen. This is not a Torah, my friend. This is uh, Jeremiah 17, 4. Read on. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So one of the identifying characteristics of who the true Jews would be in these last days, they wouldn't know who they were. Right. All right. And that's why we're out here to teach the good news that the first high, the last high, the first five, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians are indeed the true Jews by bloodline, right. by the seed of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Are you a descendant of Jacob? You said no? Yes, yes. Oh, you said you're a descendant of Jacob. By, by your mother? By your mother? By your mother? From the, from the, according to who? We're going to deal with, we're going to deal with, we're not dealing with that pseudo information. We're dealing with the truth. If you knew that, did you know what we just read? This is the 
listen, this is in English and I'm not sure exactly what it is. This is not <laughs> well, get your Hebrew Bible and, and get out the book of Numbers. Right. Get, get your Hebrew Bible. Let's get the same verse. Doesn't say anything about something. Let's get the Pull same it Hebrew. Get your Hebrew Bible out. Pull it out. You get on your phone. Get on your phone. Read up. You got a Read smartphone. Up. And I will cause thee to sow thine enemies. Come on. In the land which thou knowest not. So the Most High said that he would. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. You, you don't want to listen. If you don't listen, you don't have respect. First of all, read this again. We're coming from the Bible. Jeremiah 17, 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. When did the so-called Jewish man, when did that happen to them? When they were served, the, when, when, when did that happen? What, the, what is the question? The question is, when did this prophecy, or this declaration that Jeremiah said would happen, a future prophecy to the children of Israel, when were the children of Israel, I don't know, I don't the know. Jewish man that's residing in Israel today, an Israelite, where did that man ever go through this again? We're going to read it one more time, real slow. Jeremiah 17, 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. When did the Jewish man discontinue from their heritage? Or did they steal another identity and claim it as their own? It's Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Or Jeremiah. Read. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee. He said, yeah, me how. First of all, it sounded like a cat meow. <laughs> and, and, se and secondly, you just admitted, no, you just admitted that this, that the current Hebrew, the current Hebrew is not the ancient Hebrew. You just admitted that, man. You, 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 get, you get cut. Because it's a, re it's a revived uh, language, but I can understand the ancient Hebrew. Uh, the ancient Hebrew just has vowel sounds because you know that we didn't have uh, the vowel points until that came much later. So they were all yeah, basically it vowel sounds. Matter. I can, I can read uh, uh, it does matter because you say you know Hebrew, but you want to read a modern Hebrew to determine what we're reading. And you just admitted that it says the same thing as Father in English as it does in Hebrew. Right. This is why the Messiah called you a devil. Right. Oh. Read. Okay. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. I will help. I will cause thee the to serve flee. thine enemies. The wicked flee. The wicked flee. Get it, get it. The wicked, the wicked flee. flee. We're going to get it. Proverbs. God, Proverbs 28 and 1. The wicked flee. The what? The wicked flee. That's it. The wicked flee. When no man pursueth. We ain't even running after him. He didn't laugh. We were just laughing. <laughs> we were having a discourse. You can't make this stuff up. Because the truth will always dispel a lie. Man. Right. The truth will always dispel a lie. So let's go back to what we, whenever the word comes out, guess who comes up? Satan. Yeah. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He wanted to take the word from our people, but he can't do it. Because he's being exposed as the charlatan he is. So go back to Deuteronomy 32 and let's read on. Deuteronomy 32 and 5. They have corrupted themselves. Our people have corrupted themselves by identifying with every time Dick and Harry that tells you who you are without you doing the investigation. The so-called Negro has taken tradition for truth. Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, all these things that you were celebrating as a slave when you were building the White House for the so-called European. When you were building the White House for this man, your ancestors was out here picking cotton, keeping the lawn. Making sure that Massa was taken care of. You think Massa was going to tell you the truth if telling you the truth meant that you would overthrow him? Even these insurrections are happening within their own nation. Right. Because they're tired of the lies. Right. They're tired of the lies is the so-called Negro, right. man. Because we still identify with a people that have shown nothing but hatred, disdain, and disgust for us. Right. The so-called European don't love the Negro. He tolerates you. Right. That's why he put a chameleon in the, uh, trying to put the chameleon in, in office. Right. Guess what vote she got? She got the black woman vote. She got the white woman vote. She got the LGBTQ vote. The East Indian vote. And then claiming to be a so-called Negro. The only people that benefit from claiming to be a so-called Negro is the Negro himself. 
the, the only uh, and the Negro himself don't benefit. Every other nation get the benefits, but the Negro himself, he don't get no benefits for being the real Negro, God. for being the real Jew. Read. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are perverse and crooked generation. We we have become a crooked generation, man, and we got to get away from that. Give me the book. Uh, keep going, down, Go to verse sixteen. God, Deuteronomy thirty-two and sixteen. They provoked him to jealousy. We have provoked the Heavenly Father to jealousy as following all these ideologies. The Bible records that the true children of Israel shall have no other gods before me. But what do we, who do we worship? We worship Caesar Borgia, this white man. We worship a European. We go to church on Sunday. All right? We keep heathen feasts and festivals that were given to us while in slavery. And the doctrine has not changed when I order. Read on. It says, they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations, provoked they him to anger. This is why we're in the condition, because the Heavenly Father is angry with the Negro. You know what he's angry with you for? For integrating. Wow. He's angry with you for accepting these, the lies of your oppressors. This is why he's upset with you, and you will never be indemnified if you're looking for people to indemnify you. Our only Redeemer is going to be the Messiah. A big black man you would know with woolly hair coming to destroy this place, man. Hold what you got. Give me Luke 12 and 49. Read what you got. Get Matthew. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, beginning at 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the only people that he's come for. Give me Hosea 8 and 4. Read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 8, verse 4. They have set up kings, but not by me. This is why the Heavenly Father is angry with the so-called Negro, because we keep coming and petitioning for a king that the Heavenly Father didn't tell us to have a king. Why would you have a king, you say you love God, that promotes the LGBTQ community? Right. The Heavenly Father is angry with the Negro for that. Read it again from the top. They have set up kings, but not by me. They have made princes, and I knew it not. You make these leaders, Camilla Harris, Kamala Harris. Oh, I can't wait. Guess what? She's the next thing since sliced bread. And then you got Negroes talking about, well, Trump. Trump can do it this time. Is this to become the, the natural paradigm for the so-called Negro to trust in vanity? Mm. Obama didn't do it for you. Right. Kennedy didn't do it for you. Nope. No, but Martin Luther King couldn't do it for you. Not even of your own nation because they compromised and the Heavenly Father destroyed that mentality, man. Read. Of their silver and their gold have they made them idols. That's what we worship money. The so-called Negro and the Heavenly Father is angry with us. That's why he's, we're in this condition. He's angry when you go to the polls and try to vote. You're still voting in 2024? How about obeying the commandments? How about, how about voting for the Heavenly Father through your actions? How about voting for the Messiah through your conduct? But we don't want to do that. We want to do everything in moral and think the Heavenly Father is going to deliver you. You can't deliver, deliver a career criminal. And we've been career criminals as Negroes, man. We got to get back to the law and statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Read. That they may be cut off. That we may what? That they may be cut off. We are. Thy calf, O Samaria. No, that's it on that. that. And we have been cut off of people for our disobedience. We have been cut off for our disobedience. Read this. I'm going to let the next powerful speaker come edify you. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 49. Bring it out. I am come to send fire on the earth. Come to do what? Send, send fire, fire on, on the, the earth. earth. That's what the Messiah is coming to do. He ain't come to bring peace. He came to bring a sword. And everybody talking about Jesus' love. What did, what did the Messiah say? I am come to send fire on the earth. Fire is coming to the earth. Why? Give me Job 9, 24. Hold what you got. Give me 2 Ezra chapter 16. It started verse 1. Give me 2 Ezra chapter 16 and verse 1. Read what you got. Job 9 and 24, the classic. This is what? This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Bring it up. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. 
What is wickedness? Immorality, homosexuality, lesbianism, do as thou will, theft, murder, corruption. That's all that comes from that building. That's all that comes from that building. Unrighteous decrees. And the Most High is going to burn this place up. That's right. The Most High is going to burn this place up. The White House is going to be turned into the burnt house. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. America has to pay for its crimes against the Native Americans, so called, against the so called Negro. America has not paid for its crime. America hasn't suffered yet. Right. Every other nation has suffered. We're seeing nation on nation crime all over the world. You don't think fire and smoke ain't coming to America? Come on, God. It's on its way. Hey. If not, where and who is he? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And where the so-called Negro presently resides is in a wicked conundrum, man. We're in a wicked existence, man. And still begging for the crumbs. They're supposed to be begging for the crumbs from your table. Read what you got. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, verse 1. Woe be unto thee. Woe be unto Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with sacks of cloths of sacks. This is a warning. This is what we come to do is to warn America. And the pinnacle of disobedience, the White House, we come to warn America to gird up yourself. It's time to gird up yourself. And hey, beware your children. Beware your children. It's on the way. Read. And be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. It's where? It's at, at hand. hand. America's destruction is where? It's, it's at, at hand. hand. It's coming, man. You think? You think Russia, you think Ukraine is not happening? You think they're creating over in Korea? You think nuclear weapons are made? Name me one weapon that was made that wasn't shot. Name me one weapon that the so-called European ever made that has not been released yet. Everything that he's ever made, he used it if we were to go with history and time past. You think he ain't going to shoot this nuclear weapon? It's coming to America. You better get your spirit right if you're from a direct bloodline descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse 40. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. That's what's getting ready to come for us. We're about to break the yoke off our enemy's neck. And we got a good day as a so-called Negro. But if you want to continue to fraternize with your enemy, you're going to suffer with your enemy. Right. Because the Heavenly Father is going to deem you as a traitor. That's treason against the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Read. Huh. And no, we're back to oh, the... Uh, second Exodus huh. chapter 16, verse 4, verse 3. A sword is sent upon you. A what? A sword it's is sent upon you. you. That's what's coming to you, America. That's what's coming to you, White House. Read. And who may turn it back? Who's going to turn it back? We're not saying we're going to do it. This is the Heavenly Father decreeing judgment on you huh. for your crimes against his people. Read. A fire is sent among you. A what? A fire is sent, sent among you. you. Read on. And who may quench it? You're not going to be able to put it out. Huh. It ain't no fire truck that exists that's going to be able to put this fire out. Read. Plagues are sent unto you. What? Plagues are sent unto you. Plagues are coming. Then they come to Egypt. Come on. And what is he that may drive them away? You're not going to be able to drive them away. You're not going to be able to drive that thermonuclear missile away. Right. It ain't no iron dome created or will ever be created that can stop the right hand of the heavenly father. Right. Right. It says, may any may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or any may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it has begun to burn. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sent it the plague. Who? The, the mighty, mighty Lord, Lord sent it the plague. We said we're not doing it. Our power, which is in heaven, gonna send these plagues. We? And who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? 
he shall cast lightnings and who shall not fear he shall thunder and who shall not be afraid the lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder? That's what's going to happen. What's going to happen to America? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder? America going to be utterly beaten to powder. That's said the Heavenly Father, man. We're going to call the White House. It's going to be called the Powder House. Right. It's going to be a powder room. That's exactly a puff of smoke. We at his presence. At what? At his presence. And that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on the coming of a Mashiach Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Come and come with on. that, I say, Come Yahshua! Come Yahshua! Come Yahshua! Come Yahshua! Come Yahshua!